Hi everyone, today I'm experimenting with scratch board. This is a new medium to me and I still have a lot to learn. But for now I'm going to test the inks. I got a few pieces of scraps. It's a clay board by Ampersand and it's all white. And when you buy the uh, scratch board by Ampersand, uh, you'll see that it already has a layer of ink that you scratch all the way down to the white part, which is uh, clay, a layer of clay. So I don't, I use the ampersand inks to um, cover the, um, the scraps and see if I could reproduce the same texture as the, um, the scratch board. One layer of ink is already enough for very nice coverage. You only see a few streaks. But I wanted to test um, how many more layers um, I could apply onto the board before it's too hard to scratch off. So here I have a piece with only one layer and one with two layers. Um, the uh, ink came off very easily with the one layer. And with the, sec with the one with the second layer, th it, the scratching was pretty easy, easy as well. So later on I tried a third layer of ink to see um, how well it was it would scratch off. Um, I have to say though that with two layers already the coverage is perfect. Adding a third layer it made the surface look really really nice but I have to say though that the scratching was getting more difficult. So by that by then I decided to just use two layers um, to cover all my pieces of scratch board or clay board I should say and um, and it worked very well. The ampersand ink sets comes with uh, six colors. Besides the black, there's also yellow, red, ultramarine blue, light green, sepia. So I decided to try um, these on the clay board to see how bright they are. And I must say that dry, like the black one that I used for the layering earlier, they dry really, really fast. Scratchboard artists usually use them after they're done scratching their picture uh, to add colors to their to their art. As you can see straight on the uh, white clay board, uh, it's very streaky. But when you add it to the um, to the work that you did to the scratch scratch part that you did on the uh, scratch board, you don't see any streaks, and it looks very very pretty. Also, I noticed the red is very pink, but um, the uh, the set comes with a little chart that tells you how to mix, how many drops of each color to mix to make different colors. And so it advises to add um, a little bit of yellow to, the, to that red to make an actual red. And it works well. You can see on my piece of uh, scrap there, the red looks much better. The great thing with uh, inks on scratch board is that once you apply the colors, you can always scratch them off, either to add um, highlights or just if you made a mistake, you can just get rid of them. I decided to uh, try something else also is um, on that piece with all the different ink colors. I wanted to see if I could add a couple layers of black over it um, so that when I scratch the black off, I would get colors underneath rather than uh, the white of the clay board. As I mentioned before, unless you add a lot of water to the ink, um, it dries very very fast so it's you can add um, as many layers as you want and it doesn't take much time at all so when I started scratching the black layer I noticed that with a very fine point um, it, it to kind of took the colors off as well so I ended up getting all the way through to the um, to the white part um, if I wanted to see the colors through the black ink, I had to, uh, to use uh, broader lines and, and not push as hard on the, um, on the board. But um, all in all, I don't think I'm going to use this technique. I don't think it works very well. 
uh, I think I'd rather scratch my art first and then add the ink uh, afterwards and scratch it again for, for more highlights and add more ink uh, as I need it. I used one of the little pieces of clay board that I inked earlier to um, draw a little um, egret. As you will see with this speed drawing, I scratched it all off. And then I used some uh, ink tense pencils and a damp brush. And I rubbed the bristles against the tip of the pencils to get pigments on the brush and, um, and colored the parts that needed to be colored. The great thing with the inked and pencils is that uh, when they're dry, they're permanent. So you can add more layers without moving the pigment around. Once the colors were dry, I scratched off um, the highlights and more details. And I added uh, more colors over them to add more depth. I had a lot of fun working on this little project. I hope you like it.